Hi, Mike Kennedy. Uh, someone asked me to publish a video about this series after I got finished watching the whole thing. It's called Snowflake Mountain. And the snowflake refers to people, not actually the snow that falls out of the ground. So what they do is get 10 or so very snowflakey type people. These are young adults who basically uh, kind of do nothing with their lives productive. They're they're living at home. They're getting all their financial help from their parents. Uh, and, you know, and these, some of these people are obviously people with money, but, you know, they're getting all their clothes they want. Some, someone goes to parties a lot. And, you know, what, several of the people have almost like created this character that they are rather than really who they are. So that's kind of interesting to see that. I mean, if you have to create a fake you, that must mean you feel pretty crappy about the real you, uh, that people won't accept you or you can't accept yourself or whatever, but they have some of those too. So basically what they go, and there are these little uh, challenges that they go through, uh, and they can tap out whenever they want to, but there's a $50,000 prize at the end. It's funny, it doesn't get announced till a couple of people have left, and then, at this point, every time someone leaves, $5,000 comes off the top of that pot. And there's some other challenges they do or things where they can lose money, which they do. It goes down to like 33000 at one point. But perhaps as a possibility, it will bounce back. But so what are the challenges? The challenge is pretty simple things if you're relating them to other survival shows. They're not even on the level of... Uh, you know, the show survivor, uh, you know, there's some little competitions and uh, mostly things they have to do and accomplish. Like one time they have to, you know, how they hold a board and the people break through it. They have to do that. Uh, they have to, uh, they got a deer, a deer that has to be processed. You know, it's been bled out and got it out and everything. So they have to help work on that. Some people have to do this or that. And, uh, then sometimes the bottom two people can go to this place called Last Chance Lake where they basically have to, they go there and it's kind of funny because it's, it's all prepared, but it's, you know, at the other place they're sleeping on cots inside of nice tents. Here, there are some debris shelters that they're going to, A-frame type things they're going to have to spend the night in. And the temptation there is there's a, there's a, a kind of a, oh, a van there, you know, recreational type vehicle. They can give up at any, any point they want to and spend the night there. But if they do that, they've left the competition. And some people do that. <laughs> One of the people who leaves, uh, he's in this really pre-offended mode. Like, why would you do this to me? I deserve better. I'm blah, 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 you know, and all this kind of, uh, rigmarole false logic that uh, he's been propping himself up with all the time I guess and uh, so he taps out but uh, it's interesting at the end uh, the two hosts of the show pick three people as finalists that can win the fi it's gone back up to 50,000 that can win the 50,000 and I think well this is kind of sad you pick three people and then you're not telling them and you're going to just pick one and say that one that person won well no that's not what happened the remaining people have to vote on these three people who should get the fifty thousand dollars so i don't know i like to show it's interesting uh i'd only watch it it's usually a half hour or was it 45 minutes i don't know but uh i'd only watch one show at a time these people are kind of irritating, to tell you the truth. And, uh, but, yeah, I did enjoy the series. <clears throat> they do have a recap at the end, you know. I only like shows like this if they say where the people are now type thing. So they show the people, <clears throat> and it appears that some people have made changes. You know, some, uh, we've got a person that's moved out of their parents' house. We've got people who are saving to do it. We've got people who have gotten jobs. You know, and so this experience really helped some people. 
And, you know, any experience is, is what you make of it. But, you know, you think of something like this in a way, it's, <coughs> excuse me, like the outward bound uh, experience. You go on this thing, you accomplish some things, you're out of your comfort level, and then you can go back and you can do something more with your life because you've realized that this little safe space that you made for yourself, this bubble, uh, hasn't got anything to do with reality usually at all. So you get out of that bubble, out of the comfort zone, and actually decide to become adult and and do something with your life. So yeah, it was a good series. Uh, I think it's enjoyable to watch. Like I say, the people, the contestants are really irritating, but my wife and I enjoyed it.